Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here and welcome to the Studio Tour 2016 in 360 degrees. So right off the bat, you can probably already tell, you can look around. If you're in Google Chrome, you can drag around the window. This actually works best on a mobile device. So if you're on your phone, you can literally like look around what's next to you, what's behind you. Or if you have something like this, Google Cardboard, you can put your phone in there and then really get immersive with it. So that's what this is for. But yeah, this is the studio. So a lot of you guys first saw it when it was super empty. It's a little bit more full now with a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna show you around. The idea generally of having a studio space for me that's not just my bedroom is, so number one, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot more space for me to actually do things and set things up. But number two, it's to host things and bring things in. And that makes the videos a little more interesting. But yeah, I guess first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this gear cabinet right here. So I guess I'll call it the gear chest. This is essentially the video gear and the stuff I make videos about. So over here on the right hand side, this is Ikea built. So actually took like a lot of time to build this, but this is all the stuff that I use to make the videos. So the surfaces behind you and around you are pretty clean. So this is like the camera, the lenses, the slider. This is actually a really good organizational tool. Like I know exactly what's in every drawer here. So I know exactly where sound is and where batteries are, but this is what I'm using to make the videos, the slider, all that stuff. I'm gonna try to leave links in the description below to as many of these things that I'm talking about as possible. So if you have any questions or if you're wondering if you can get your hands on this stuff, the links will be below, so that's what that's for. But that's the right-hand side. Now, if I switch over here to the left-hand side, you can see there's a lot of the stuff that I'm making videos about. So this is stuff like, okay, all the phone boxes, all the tablets, the, the laptops, the headphones, all that sort of stuff, that's all living in here. One of the things I get a lot is, what are you supposed to do with the devices once you're done using them? Like once you're stopped using or reviewing a phone? Uh, I don't know either. I still have that question as well, so that's kind of why this drawer exists. But uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the idea of the gear cabinet is to keep things organized and off of surfaces so it looks pretty for video all the time. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of stuff living in here. So that's the gear chest. I guess I'll go ahead and move on and I'll show you guys something else. This is an MKBHD edition poker table. Uh, super unique, obviously you can't buy this exact table, but I'll leave a link to the makers of this table below, so if you wanna check that out, that's there. Uh, but there is a meaning behind it being a poker table. Obviously we, we don't really, we talk tech on this channel all the time, but we often don't consider the people that are making the tech and the decisions they make uh, to make each phone and each tablet that we use every single day. So it's for that reason kind of rare to see a company take a real gamble and go all in on something like crazy. Like this new thing we're seeing that I, you might see in an upcoming video, these bezel-less phones, they look crazy, but I love it. I love the risk they're taking. So this table is not just a place for people to come and lose their money, but it's also kind of a reminder for me for the companies that are taking those risks and doing things a little bit differently. So this is the table. Uh, there's some DJI stuff, some foam, uh, but we can move right along and check this out. Besides the carpet, which does great acoustically, this is the Dream Desk. This, you've probably seen not only all over Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and places I've shared it, but this is the entire thing. So you have a look at it. This is a super unique piece of furniture. Uh, and the chair, obviously, is pretty neat to have as well. But yeah, this took a couple months to arrive and this is super sweet to actually have here. Um, I get two main questions with this desk. When people see it is number one, like what do you do with your feet on this base here? I just kind of kick up, I don't think it's a big deal. It's wood, it can handle it, it's durable. And number two, can you put things way over here on this side of the desk and will they fall off or knock it over? No, this desk is great, it's super usable. It's weighted very heavily over here. It's got cable management. And yes, I could put like an iMac over there and it would stay fine, it's great. Uh, there's also some art behind me. There's some Philips Hue bulbs in these lights. Um, and obviously the art you can't get anywhere else either. There's a video light as well, and we'll move on. So this is the sort of a lounge type of entertainment sort of area, as you can probably tell by the sweet modular couch and the chair right here. But uh, yeah, this is kind of fun. So this is a 4K OLED TV. It's amazing, it's beautiful, but there's almost never any actual TV signal going into it. There's no cable box here. Uh, it's mostly just internet, like streaming services and stuff. So YouTube, um, there's an Apple TV plugged in, there's a PS4, there's an Xbox One. There's a Chromecast, but there's a Chromecast Ultra in the mail coming soon, because that supports 4K. 
Um, and this could also be like a nice area for virtual reality testing. So VR stuff, you're kind of watching one of the VR videos right now. That stuff's coming out all the time. VR gaming is awesome. So that stuff could be tested here uh, all the time. Now, I keep talking about Philips Hue because they have these smart light bulbs. I have the Philips Hue app installed on my phone. The benefit of that is I have full control over all the lights in this that are Philips Hue, the light strip behind the desk, all that stuff over the app on my phone. So that's kind of a neat thing. Uh, and there's also one other thing I wanted to show you guys, since I haven't actually formally shown you on video yet, is this thing. This, thank you. This is the, the plaque that you get for surpassing a million subscribers on YouTube. So I just wanted to say thanks for like that in person so you can get that. Um, yeah, but other than that, this is a, sort of a lounge area, I guess, easiest way to move on. Oh, by the way, a lot of foam. It helps. It's great. Uh, I'll move on. So this is the corner of the room that I definitely spend the most physical time in, right? So this is the editing bay, this is the vocal booth, this is everything. Uh, first of all, this piece of equipment right here, can't forget it, this is the Kessler Pocket Jib Pro. And you've seen like the overhead shots where I'm going straight down with like the unboxings and stuff. You can do that with a tripod, but it's a lot easier to have a dedicated tool where I can roll this over to the desk or roll this over to the white surface and point it straight down and it'll get that overhead shot, so that's sick. This is the Google Jump VR rig that we're shooting this video on right now. So this is what you guys are looking at me through. This is the rig. What it looks like is basically 16 GoPros all on this sort of a platter thing, all connected with this sort of a wire of cables, all recording at the same time. So that's why you can walk around and look. They're all recording in a stereoscopic 3D image. Has a uh, spatial microphone by zoom up top, just like that. So there's no up-facing camera, so you like lose the upper 30 degrees or so of video, but those wide angle lenses, that's what you guys look like when I'm looking at the camera and talking to you. That's what you look like. Um, and then there's the desks. A pair of next desks over here, some foam in the corner that I've put up, but this is the next desk Terra. Uh, you've probably seen this before actually, but what's neat about this is it's, uh, it's sort of the charging station for all things. So batteries charge here, there's wireless charging here, and there's uh, USB type A, USB type C, USB, USB, I don't know, lightning, everything charges here. <laughs> Um, the Apple Watch charges here, so this is also a height adjustable desk, but I don't really sit here because I'm usually sitting at the mega desk. This right here. This is the Next Desk Air Pro with, I guess it's an even larger custom size. It's larger than they normally make maximum, and it's incredible. So this is uh, covered in production equipment. It's not a normal everyday setup, but it's a pair of Asus 4K displays. This little shelf here thing, I'll try to link on Amazon. People really like that. Uh, 12 terabyte RAID where I keep the final finished files, Sennheiser HD 800s by Colorware. I'm probably going to have an entire dedicated setup just for the production, like in all its 8K glory, like just this as a normal video. So thumbs up if you want to see that. But in the meantime, this is what it looks like when it's on. Got a Philips Hue light strip in the back and all kinds of foam behind and below it because I'm doing sound editing here just as much as I am video editing. Uh, Yamaha HS8s on the side devices that I'm testing and the 2013 trash can Mac Pro that I'm hoping gets updated very soon, at least at the time of the recording of this. Um, yeah, and so being on a Next Desk Air Pro, it is height adjustable, so you can see it's at a standing height right now, but if I move the chair out, it moves down to a more appropriate sitting height. Speakers come with it, everything comes with me, and I go down to a sitting height, so if I'm editing and sitting, that's great. But I have a standing preset as well, so anytime I'm standing and I'm not editing for a long time, that's when I stand. Uh, the chair down here is a Herman Miller and body. That slides right underneath, so it's super easy. So this is pretty, pretty compact, pretty clean. Some colorware, black keyboard and everything. I like it. It works for me. That's where the production of most of the videos you watch are happening. So that's pretty much it. That's the extent of the studio and the way it looks now in 2016. Uh, obviously, all this is subject to change. It's going to evolve as time goes on. Stuff's going to come in and out, but this is the sort of the starting template of what we're working with. You saw it when it was empty. Now it looks fantastic, I think. So you guys saw the gear chest, all the stuff that's in it. Fantastic organizational tool. We have all the carpeting and all the furniture and things like that. We have the poker table. You guys saw the poker table and why it's a poker table. And then, of course, the dream desk over there in all its glory. The couch, a little bit more foam, a little bit more furniture. Uh, you saw the entertainment system, obviously the TV over there, you have the couch, you have the, the carpeting, all that sort of stuff, all the foam. And uh, you got some more tables, you got some more gear, you got some desks, you got the production area, 
You've seen it all now. Thank you again. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for everyone who's been watching these videos. You saw the plaque as well. Super important to me. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the tour goes. Hopefully there will be more stuff like this to come. Thank you for watching this one. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.